Hi everyone, welcome to Kids Club Moves. We're gonna hear a story from the Bible. The Bible is the most important book in the whole world. It tells God's rescue plan for us. While we hear the story, we're gonna do some movements. It's easy, just follow me and do what I do. Let's all sit on the floor, crisscross applesauce. Great, put your listening ears on. Now, bring your hands together and put them in your lap. Great job. Now, let's get started. We're gonna talk about a man who was sick and the brave little girl who helped him. Remember, do what I do. Our story begins a long, long time ago with a man named Naaman. Let's all stand up. Naaman was a brave soldier Let's all pretend to be soldiers. That means standing up very straight, very tall, and very brave. Naaman was a brave soldier who won many fights, but he was really sick. He had a skin disease all over his body, from down to his toes to the top of his head. On top of being sick, Naaman didn't follow God. And he was really mean to lots of people. One time, Naaman was so mean, he captured a girl and took her from her family and put her to work. The little girl could have been really mad at Naaman. But instead of being angry at Naaman, she helped him. She told him if he visited the prophet Elisha in Israel, he could be healed of his bad skin disease. Well, Naaman was still feeling pretty sick, so he took his horses and chariots, and he went to visit Elisha's house. Elisha sent a messenger to meet Naaman, and the messenger said, go, wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times, then your skin will be healed. Naaman was furious. He wanted to talk to Elisha, not Elisha's messenger. He wanted Elisha to say a prayer for him, not to tell him to take a bath in the stinky river. Naaman was angry. Show me angry. Later, Naaman's servant encouraged him to do what Elisha had said. So he went to the stinky, dirty, Jordan River and dipped himself seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When Naaman obeyed, his skin disease went away. He was completely healed, all better. Naaman tried to thank Elisha by giving him gold, and silver and fancy clothes, but Elisha wouldn't take it. Elisha knew he hadn't healed Naaman. God had healed Naaman. And guess what happened after that? Sit down with me. Naaman believed in God too. Not only had God healed Naaman's body, he healed his heart. So now that we're sitting down with our hands in our laps, let's thank God for this story. God, thank you for reminding us that you are big and you are powerful. We love you. Amen. Thanks for moving along with me as we heard a part of God's story. See you next time.